What is going on everybody? Brendan Keeler 78 coming at you with a diecast review. Today's diecast review is going to be on the 2017 Martin Truex Jr. Wix Filters Toyota Camry. This car is definitely one of my favorites that he has ever driven and possibly one of my favorite paint schemes of all time. Uh, I don't know what it is about this car. I'm not really a big fan of the color yellow, but just the way it goes with the black, it, it's just a really cool looking car. I really love the design on this thing. It looked really good on the track. Um, I got to see him race this in person. He raced this at New Hampshire for the Overton's 301. He, I believe, I don't know if he led the most laps, but he led over 100 laps and he ended up finishing third, which I would have loved to have seen him win, but just to see him run up front was pretty cool, being um, his home track. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the box. Um, just your standard Martin Shurex box, nothing too fancy. It's just got his, um, his picture. Um, try to get that to focus a little bit better. My phone's struggling right now. All right, cool. Uh, Martin Shurex Jr., 78, Furniture Row, Action Racing Clubs of America, or Trust Champions, I'm sorry. On the other side, it's got a picture of the car right there. Um, standard finish. Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. Um, this side, 2017 diecast. Register your DIN at LionelRacing.com. Action Race and Collectibles, still a choice of champions. On this side, it's just got all the details on there. You probably can't really see that. It's probably too dark, but it says Martin Truex Jr., Wix Filters, Toyota Camry, 2017. One of 1,405. And if you look at the back of the car, it will tell you what number exactly yours is. Mine is number 872. Um, kind of up there a little bit, but still, it's pretty cool. I love, like I said, I love this car, so just owning it is pretty cool in itself. But we'll take a look at the car now, the actual car. If I can get my phone to focus, maybe, possibly. Come on. There we go. Um, there you see Goodyear, um, Goodyear Eagle, uh, Monster Energy, Coors Light Pull Award. My phone's having trouble focusing for some reason. There we go. NASCAR Race Car, 78. Wix Filters, Bass Pro Shops, uh, Toyota, Furniture Row, Auto Owners, 5 Hour Energy, Signature. The uh, wind stickers where they would have been, and you can also see on this car there's a bunch of little mini um, Wix logos built into the um, wrap that went on the car. Take a look at the front of the car. You got the Toyota nose. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but um, there is a little, slight little bit of cracking in the paint. It's not too noticeable, but it's there, but you know, so much goes into making these die cast cars that it's not going to be perfect, and I'm not going to complain. Um, this car is just too good looking anyway, so. But anyway, we've got Cam Camry, Toyota, um, Wix filters, obviously, Monster Energy, Toyota logo, 78, um, where the camera goes, TV camera goes. Um, take a look at the back of the car. Oop. Uh, Toyota Camry Wix filters, Toyota, open up the trunk, you got, um, basically, you probably can't really see that, but, um, no, you can't really see in there, it's too dark, but it just got basically the fuel cell in there, nothing too fancy, same thing that goes in every other die cast, um, turn it around to the front, let me open up the hood real quick, it's kind of a process, you gotta do it carefully so you don't damage the die cast, um, there's the engine right there. Um, not really detailed, but some detail. Um, and up on the, uh, you can't really see it too well, but they say Toyota Wix filters and furniture row. The um, sponsor logos on the hood and the roof flaps open, obviously, like every other die cast. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to have this in my collection. Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite cars that he has ever driven, um, and possibly one of my favorite paint schemes of all time, just in general, just from the, 
it's just a really sleek looking car. Like I said, it looked really good on the track. Um, I really wish that it could have raced more, but being able to see it race in person was kind of a treat in itself, so I'm not going to complain too much. But yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this review. Thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. You won't hurt my feelings either way, but all right. Y'all have a good day. Bye.